Guys, Canva just changed the game. But if you are like me, you don't have the patience to listen to a 90 minute presentation on these new updates. So in today's video, I'm going to go through every single update that they announced in as quickly as possible so that you can get designing ASAP. So let's get into it. The first thing I wanna talk about is their introduction of layers. If you have used Photoshop and Illustrator before, you may be familiar with layers. And if you are not, let me just show you exactly what that means. So you can see that this free Etsy research, this is an old thumbnail of mine, is on top of the background, but it is slightly behind my shoulder. And I actually have a little blue blur behind me, but I can't get to it without having to move me fully, edit it, and then move me back. But now what I can do is if I hit position in the top, automatically it's gonna say arrange, but if you hit layers, you're gonna see all of your different elements and you can just click on them and then you can edit them this way. So I want to get to this little blue blur that I had. I can just click on that and now I have accessed it and I can edit it up here without my face getting in the way. What you can also do is you can just reposition them from here as well. So if I wanted the blur on top, I can just drag it up and now it's on top of my face. They also introduced some really new cool things that you can do with the colors in your file. So for my background here, I have this like beige color here. I'm gonna click on the color editor and say I want to change the color. Let's put in this color here. Actually, let's change one over here. If you click on it, and you just hover, there's gonna be this little settings button that you can click. You can change the color from here, but what you can also now do is add a gradient. You can change the style of the gradient. I usually like from inside outside. And then from here, you can change the colors of your gradient and then as well add in any more if you want like a really cool rainbow effect. They've also added a lot more things to brand kit. Before there were brand colors that you could set up, but now if you are sharing your Canva with maybe multiple team members, I actually share with my VA, you can actually have a brand kit to set up your colors, your fonts, images that you can use so that everyone is on the same track when they are designing. So to get there, under here, you're gonna find Brand Hub and you can edit this, you can add in your brand logos. I have already set up my colors. You can also add fonts, any photos, graphics, or icons that you want your team to continuously use in your designs. This way, they're not always going back to find maybe your Google Drive to find these. It's all already in Canva for you. If you're maybe doing digital downloads or you are doing something more document-based and you need an AI writer to help you out, Canva's got that built in. You can hit this little button in the corner over here and there's one Canva assistant that you can ask for any help, but I am talking about using this magic write. I'm gonna ask, write me five tips for selling on Etsy. And then let's see what that gives us. Here's what I got. I'm just gonna make it fit in my file here. I'm gonna make it white so we can read that a little bit easier. And this might be a little bit long for me. One, I'm just gonna delete my prompt here. But if this is a little long, we can also have them edit this for us. And we can do that by clicking on the text and going back to this button in the corner. We can do summarize text, expand text, rewrite. So if we wanna make it shorter, we would do summarize text. If we wanna make it a longer paragraph, we can have them expand it. Or if we just want them to redo it, we hit rewrite. So I'm gonna summarize text using this so that I have shorter point forms. And here we go. I didn't make it too much shorter. I tried doing it again and it actually just brought me to two sentences, which was a little too short, but you can play with this till you get the length that you want. And now if I also have, let's say a Spanish audience and yo no hablo espanol, sorry I butchered that. <laughs> you can go on over to apps, look up translate. I'm gonna use translate and you can translate this to many, many different languages. I'm gonna put this in Spanish, apply to page. Uh, I'm gonna apply just to my page one here, translate, and they're gonna automatically translate so I can use this for multiple different audiences. I think I'm also gonna start using this just so I can learn Spanish so I'm not butchering the language. We'll see, talk to me next year, maybe in Spanish. They've also introduced this new draw feature. So you'll find this in the tabs at the side. You've got like a highlighter, a fine tip pen. We have 
this tip here. You can set the color down here and as well you can change the weight of that marker size or the transparency as well. If I did want to do a highlighter, I'm assuming the transparency, you probably want to go lower so you can highlight or I'm probably just going to set it to 100. Change this up and then you can add little doodles to your page as well. Then I did see this announced but I can't find it myself so I think it's still in beta and they haven't launched it yet but if you draw a shape they should help you actually create that actual shape. So if you had a star or say you put a heart in, they would actually give you a heart. And in the future, they're even going to give you different styles of that heart. So if you do a heart, maybe they're going to give you like a 3D heart. They're going to give you like a rainbow heart, different options that you can pick from. So that might help really quicken up your designing. Now let's go over one of my favorite new things that Canva introduced and you can bring in a photo like this. This is one I've used for wall art mock-ups. And if you just click on the image, we're gonna hit edit photo. And we now have a magic eraser and magic edit. So let's go over both. If we have magic eraser, say, I don't want these boots in my photo. You can edit your brush size and just trace over what you want to disappear. And let's let that load. and take a look at that. They brought in the background that they assumed was behind the boots and got rid of them. And now this image looks like the boots were never even there. What if I still wanted a pair of shoes there? I'm just not so unclassy that I'm wearing rubber boots. I want some black heels to replace these. What I can do is I'm gonna hit again, magic edit this time. We're gonna do the same thing we did before and just highlight over the boots. And now I'm going to hit continue and we're gonna type in what we want here instead. And I want a pair of black heeled boots instead because we are high grass like that. And now using that prompt, Canva has made me four options for black heeled boots that I can click on and they are going to replace those other boots that were there with some more classy black boots. And if you don't like the results, you can just hit generate new results to get another four. All right, now moving on in the spirit of quickness, now we have what is called a custom animation. So what you can do is before, there used to be a few animate options. There were only these, pan, fade, which weren't very helpful. Versus now you can create a custom animation with some of your elements. Just click on create an animation. And I'm gonna draw my little birdie going on a nice little day flight. He's gone wild. He's had too much Red Bull. All right, and now I can change his speed, I can slow it down, and I can save this as a video or a GIF file. We also have what is now called magic design. So if you go into your templates outside of a file, you can get to try magic design. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna upload some of your assets. So right here, inspiring templates crafted with your media. We're gonna upload our media. I'm just gonna use some of my recent photos. Let's use my recent one in here. Then from here, you can also add a vibe or a theme. So we can change this to maybe I'm hosting a cool event. I really like this type of color theme. So I'm gonna go with this Roxboro. I'm gonna put in C results and I can also change up my headline. And there we go. Now we have tons of different options with my color scheme. It screams come to my event. I've got my photo in there and these can just be a basis point because then you can go click into these and you can edit them however you would like. These are just a great way to create a starting point for some of your designs. And then just the last thing that I heard, but I can't find out my account yet, so I don't think it's implemented yet, is to be able to create presentations based on a prompt. So goodbye PowerPoint, hello Canva AI presentations. You can tell them, make me a presentation. I think they use the example to get my coworkers to dress like me or my presentation to quit my job and they will create a template for you and you can add in your imagery so you're not spending so much time on designing presentations. But again, I hope that one is coming or I'm just missing it, but it doesn't seem to be on my account just yet. All right, guys, now it's time for you to get designing. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next week.